Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Amar Raza, and today's program that I'm doing uh, for you is uh, on uh, getting the right answers from the from the candidates. Uh, four things that you need to consider to get the right answers from uh, an interview. And um, when you ask these questions, and I know the panel interviews or the head of departments, when they do individually uh, interviews with the, with the candidates or the uh, HR department people, they do the interviews. Uh, these are the questions um, that are not for the shortlisting, but for the, um, uh, for the detailed uh, insight from the interviewees um, as to if they would be really suitable for your organization or not. Um, we understand that um, all the candidates uh, over the years have also uh, gone uh, in length in terms of understanding what the interviews are and what kind of questions that they should be expecting from the interviewers during the program, during the interviews. Um, uh, they also know all these things. So it is your role as, um, as an interviewer um, to get the right information from the candidates. There are candidates who are very smart. There are candidates who are are really dumb they are candidates who are uh, um, who are smart but they cannot answer the question rightly but it is the uh, job of the interviewers to extract the right answers from the candidates and to give them ample opportunity uh, to show their capacity and capability during the interviews they during the interviews there are interviews which are structured interviews and these are four questions which are um, uh, in fact a uh, uh, key for all the structured interviews and for that matter, if your uh, organization is not that uh, um, uh, structured in terms of the structured interviews, so uh, even then these questions uh, can be very handy in terms of getting the right information from the candidate. So let's go on and, um, uh, uh, and see these four very good questions in terms of getting the right information. The first one is, um, we all know the STAR technique. Uh, as the candidates, you Use the star technique as the candidate answers the questions make sure they describe situation and what is the star is it is situation s is situation task action and results so uh, when you uh, in the behavioral kind of interviews in the interviews where you are extracting the information um, put them into give them a situation ask them that present in front of you a situation what was the task in that situation what action that they have taken they had taken in that situation and what was the result so it's a very simple star technique which you can remember in uh, um, your interviews and getting the information from the from the candidates the second one is um, when you ask for specific examples make sure the candidates don't give you hypothetical or indirect information like uh, for example if you are asking for uh, uh, doing a sales interview or doing a production or manufacturing related interview or doing an HR interview um, ask for specific specific example uh, in terms of their role into different of uh, in, into their different previous assignments if they are fresh they are fresh graduates you can ask specific examples of their role in terms of their studies in terms of their projects that they have done in their um, graduation and if you are of course doing a, a senior level interview you can ask for very specific examples and when you ask for examples be sure that they answer the in, in terms of the examples that you have asked for uh, from them um, uh, the, the candidates have a tendency to give indirect information or hypothetical information so it is your role as an interviewer to bring them back into um, into the question and ask for specific examples about their role in their previous uh, job role or in their uh, during their graduation the third is follow up on specific piece of missing information in their response to dig deeper into their situation. Now, this can only be possible if you are listening very properly um, to what specific example they have given and how prepared you are about the job role that you are interviewing for. If you are not prepared yourself, if you are not um, having in front of you the job description uh, for that role, it will be very difficult to dig deeper. Now, when you have the job description with you um, and the information about the job role, 
you can dig deep into that information. For example, if a person is saying that he has increased the sales um, during his last job to uh, 50% or he has done, uh, uh, the, he has increased the revenue of the organization to a certain level, you can dip, dig deeper. And whenever you dig deep, remember the star technique uh, in the first question that you uh, we have shared. Um, when you... Uh, pinpoint the situation when you ask about the task when you ask about the action that individual has taken then the result that you will be expecting to get out that will be very nearer to what you were expecting for from the interview into uh, uh, interviewees so remember all these things are basically channelized if you are well prepared for the interview and the last one and a very important one um, that is basically uh, uh, we overlook during our interviews because of uh, certain time constraint because of certain uh, urgencies to get the get the candidate on this is basically about the time that you need to give to the uh, to the candidate give them time often right answers come after a moment of reflection so don't rush candidates or write them off if they don't answer quickly so when you uh, you can you can well understand that uh, a candidate who is looking for a job maybe he's desperate or maybe he's not desperate but he has a different frame of mind he he, he may have some um, nervousness issues he may have some stress issues he may have some uh, um, anxiety issues for the interview. Um, now, keeping that in mind, you need to give that individual a some time to think about that question and it is an advice for the interviews also that uh, whenever a question is asked they need to think through that question and take their sweet time not of course uh, all the time they don't have all the time in the world but yes they um, uh, about uh, 10 15 20 30 seconds to the maximum they should think about it and then answer and the interviewers also the panel also should give them that opportunity to think through this and then answer whenever they would um, get the answer after a good time of reflection that would be a nice answer so these are all those four areas or four uh, uh, ideas um, that you should be or questions maybe that you should be um, uh, focusing on and you should be keeping handy uh, in, in, in your mind that you should be following all these steps while getting um, extracting the right information from the candidate. So thank you very much for your time. My name is Omar Raza or Agar. And if you have any questions or if you want to ask, uh, give any comment, you can write down in the comment section. Thank you very much. Khuda Hafiz. Mm -hmm.